Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel. This is Black Mare, a game I recently picked up on sale in the PlayStation Store. I don't really know anything about it other than it's a gothic style a horror game set, I believe, in the 20s over in Scotland. And that is about all I know about the game. So let's get in here, get started, and see what it's actually about. Oh, we have control now. Well, this is all very strange. We are running from something and I have no clue what it is. What is that? It's like a little voodoo doll? Not voodoo doll, but... Oh. I failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like an idol. Oh, he hit it. He's hearing these voices in his head. Oh, no, keep going. There we go. Oh, who are you? <laughs> like a gravy. Oh, that was a little strange. Make me to walk in the path of thy commandments. Coward! Okay. You betrayed your family! And his heart is... Whoa, what? Take what? Ooh! Cut his hand. <sighs> You're too late! You will not get him! It'll work. It must. What are you gonna do? Holy bobs. I wonder if that was the guy that was after us or if it was someone trying to stop him. joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I 
hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. So, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Family of snakes, beware and key. Can we... Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, so it's going to read that. And then we can flip it over. My boy... Find the answers, library, and there's some kind of a code. The ramblings of a madman. I couldn't even bring myself to show this to Mother. Uh, there we go. Okay. I think we've pretty much board at all. Whoop. Yeah, whoop, no, there we go. Okay. So maybe there's a clue in the library or there's something we need to do in the library. be part of the key. Kind of looks like part of the key. You can see where it's broken off. Definitely like part of a building or a castle. We have arrived, sir. Ooh. That's a place. Ooh, that's a big place. I will say I do kind of like the graphic design of the game so far. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Okay. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. 
Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. Uh -oh. What a curious object. Ooh, should we lie or tell the truth? Let's go with the truth. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Uh, please follow me, Master David. Why aren't these people all rainbows and sunshine? He, this butler, recognized it though. Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Mm, it's a little hard to... Whoa. Do the controls, though. There we go. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you. But Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. Huh. Okay. Controls are a little clunky. I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Okay. Uh, this way, sir. I've annoyed the old fellow enough. Oh. First impressions count. Sorry about that. I guess we're going this way. There we go. Somebody's jumpy. It does that sometimes, sir. <laughs> Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Okay. Maybe he's more of a morning person. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, that was quite the welcome. Let's look around our room a little bit. Can we... Yep, there we go. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Okay. 
Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. This is a piece of a model. Oh, nice. Okay. Found a nice little clue. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. We've already looked at that. Anything else here we can look at? Whoa. Hope I see that. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Oh, so he was a drunkard? I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. Hmm. Not many matches left. Okay. So we have matches now. Looks like that is everything. We have that. Is there anything over here we can look at? No, I don't think I want to leave, do I? Probably not. Up oh, there's something. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. Okay. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Ah, just what I need. Okay. Anything else in here? Okay, here we go. In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. <laughs> okay. I think we've pretty much explored our whole room. Empty. Hold on. What's this? Found more photo pieces. Okay. No, I don't want to look at that. What's over here? I don't want to use the bed. What is over here, though? Where does that go? That's not the way we came in. Maybe it is. Should I be out? We meet again, old foe. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. Okay. I kind of like to be able to see what's in front of me. There we go. Don't want to get caught out roaming around. Nothing there, though. A dumb waiter. Big enough to fit your own weight and food into. Oh, okay, that was the end of the hall. Don't think we want to go in any other rooms right now. Definitely don't want to get caught out walking around either. Yeah, you can't go in there. Found more photo pieces. Can't go in there. Uh, how do we pull up our inventory? There we go. A 
Okay, I wonder where are these? Ex okay, so we should be exploring the castle. Okay. That was a little strange. So maybe we should go upstairs. No. Barging into someone's bedroom in the middle of the night is not how to earn their trust. Okay. Let's go upstairs then. Can I go up any further? No. Shame. Attics often speak volumes about the owners of a house. Okay. So we can't go in there. All right, let me check these doors back here and then maybe we need to go downstairs. Oh wait, here was, here's a room. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? Eavesdropping, Mr. Gordon? That's hardly proper. Hmm. <laughs> Ghosts, legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. I started reading this, though never got round to finishing it. The gentle maid whose hapless tale these melancholy pages speak. Say, gracious lady, shall she fail to draw the tear adown from thy cheek? Hmm. Okay, that was a little weird. Well, we didn't, uh... Leave a good impression with the guy downstairs there, did we? Maybe I should have drawn attention to myself. Despair by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Hmm. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness. Clawing fiends of future sadness mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living lone and sobbing in the throes of anguish throbbing with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest but beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion culminating all the years of fruitless quest the words of a troubled soul yeah I think Anything else up here? Is this what father meant by a family of snakes? Ooh. Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. Ah, okay. Selected poems. By Edgar Allan Poe. Ah, my favorite. Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream a dream within a dream hmm well for telling there All right here we go oh we can look around down here too nice
Ooh, what's over here? I will say this game has a lot of loading screens. So I actually wanted to come over here and look before we go out there. See if we can talk to, was this the lawyer? There we go. Let's talk about the heritage. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. Uh, there will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. Yeah, you're looking for something here, though. I can kind of tell. That looks daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland. Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Nice. Leave me alone with your desk. Let's take a peek. Hiding something, are we? Told ya. Oh, can I go behind the desk? Yeah, I can. But there's nothing back here. No, it doesn't doesn't look like it. All right, what's over here? Nothing in there. Any more photo pieces over here? Nope, doesn't appear to be. out of there and then nothing here so let's go out in the front hallway and see what is out here and if we can find any more of those 30 pieces hopefully we can find all of them and we can put the picture together alrighty well this is quite a huge place Oh, jeez. Ooh. Keeps the house from being covered in weeds. Name's Rory. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm David Gordon. I pretend you were coming today. How long have you worked for the Gordons? Always been a gardener, and I do some fishing. The luck's a bonny place. Calms the nerves. You're not very friendly, are you? Why are you sitting in the dark? There's enough light for me, laddie. Oh, your eyes. 
I'm sorry that I didn't realize. I see more than most do, son. I wonder if this was the guy that came after his father. Did you know my father? I did. I. Shameful what they did to him. What do you mean? Who is they? Hmm. I'll leave you to your supper then. Being a Gordon can be a curse, laddie. Your father kenned the hard way. Mind you dinner follow in his footsteps. That was a little weird. Blood. Not human, I presume. Better safe than sorry. A cleaver? Alright, I just shoved a cleaver in my pocket for some reason. Ooh, what do we got over here? This might come in handy. What did I just shove in my pocket now? Wire. Oh, okay. Apparently we're just kleptomaniacs. <laughs> Well, we found the china. Can't see over that way though, so I think we have explored everything in here. Yeah, nothing over this way. Here, you want that knife in the butcher block too? Apparently not, because we can't walk that way. There we go. No, you're good with that one. Let's examine the door the then. Silicon wait till tomorrow. Okay, so we're not going to the cellar. Rory just disappeared into the darkness. Okay, well, let him go that way, and we're going to leave and go back the other way and hopefully not get the bejeebers scared out of us. Oh, is that the dumb waiter? That is. It looks like we found a sitting room of some kind. Lady Margaret and Edward. <laughs> How young they look. But who are the others? You really know very little about your own family, David. Okay, and I can't examine the other one. Anything over here? wonder what room we're in. I'll give that a spin later. Ooh. An impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. A peculiar place to spend the night. I best not wake her. How dare you? No, I will never. It's not true. It's all lies. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a little weird. Anything else in here? Doesn't appear to be. All right, well, let's get back out of here. And to study, so we'll have to explore the dining room here in a minute. Just how old is the Gordon clan? For all I know, it could stretch back to Roman times or even further. Man, this place is big. I wasn't expecting this many rooms. A 
An earring? I doubt it was buried in the ashes on purpose. Someone must have lost it. Okay. There we go, more photo pieces. The cold pieces. doesn't seem to affect the residents of this house. All the fires are fighting and losing battle against the draft. Okay. I used to regale my Indian school friends with tales of knights in shining armor. Hmm. No, we're not going there. <laughs> Anything over here? Well, yep. <laughs> Must be hard to keep this place clean. Hmm. What do we got up here? Doesn't look like anything. Nothing on that side. Ooh, look at those. Well, I would if it would let me. There we go. Oh, nice. Alright. Uh, no, we don't need to look at that again. Let's go check out this over here. No, maybe that's where... Is that where we came in? I think... Yeah, that's where we came in. Is that a door? No, that's where we came in. So I wonder what that other door leads to. Let's check here real quick. Make sure we don't Somewhere miss anything. Somewhere there they found father. Or rather what was left of him. What a cruel way to take your own life. On the morrow, I will explore the grounds as soon as the sun is up. All right. It's too dark outside to speculate about the size of the estate. Who would tear up photographs, given the painstaking process surrounding their creation? All right, we found more pieces then. I'm glad we came back in here. So I think... That appears to be everything. No, nothing over here. Okay, let's go back in here and head to that other room. Alright, I wanted to examine the door over here. Oh, locked. Okay, I figured it was. Is there anything there? No. All right, let's go check out this other hallway, and then we should probably head out to our up to our bed. Ah, okay, we're back in down here. Exquisite craftsmanship. I doubt our family could afford a marvel such as this nowadays. Alrighty, well, I think we have found everything we are gonna find right now. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and tuck our little selves into bed. No need to look at that again. Can we go in there? Oh. Father must have left something for me in the master's study. I suppose I could ask Mr. McKinnon to open it for me in the morning, but I'll have him breathing down my neck. And who knows what I'm to find. Well, let's pick the lock, the lock then. The too heavy, too old for this to work. All right, well, I guess we'll have to ask in the morning then. Yeah? The lock is too heavy, too old for this to work. Father must have left something for okay. me in the master's study. I suppose I could ask Mr. McKinnon to open it for me in the morning, but I'll have him breathing down my neck. And who knows what I'm to find. All righty, well, just wanted to double check. Let's head down this way and head into our room. Okay, well, what, we, what was that room there? I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. Later. That's our bathroom. Okay, good to know. Well, I think I have found everything that I can, so I suppose we are going to head to bed. My faithful friend, Insomnia. 
I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. My faithful friend Insomnia. <coughs> I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. All right, so I guess I do need a book. All right. Oh, we need to find a way to open the desk in the library. Okay. Maybe I should have looked at that. So the library was over here. Well, hopefully this wire that I picked up will be good enough to open the desk. Oh, wait a minute. Is it this desk or the one? It's probably the one up there, isn't it? Let me go back up. It's probably this desk. Hmm, this might take a while. I need to be steady and try to... Oh, oh, well, there you go. Nice. Scratches or no scratches? Oh, so we left no scratches. All right. Ooh, looks like we need to figure that out. Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. Oh. Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. Okay, take that. Dear Lady Gordon, I write to you with the utmost urgency. I am seeking information about my patient, your son, John Gordon. During our conversations, he makes allusions to his relationship with his father, but will not expand when pressed. You have failed to respond to my previous request, so I'm writing again to insist in the strongest terms possible that you furnish me with the required answers. Your son's recovery depends on it. Yours faithfully, Dr. Leah Farber, Bethlehem Hospital, London. What secrets about my father is Lady Margaret concealing? All right, let's look at that last drawer there. Oh, locked. Hmm. Looks like more photo pieces. Oh. That's not the right combination. Oh my. I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to put in. I think that one's one, definitely. I'm just putting random numbers in. Oh. Well, there we go. Don't ask how I did it. I have no Let's clue. Let's see what father didn't even want his own family to find. Oh. Hmm. Now, what are you for? We can't take the rest of the snake there. Okay, so you're probably there. Here we go. Uh-oh. This side is done as far as I can tell. But there must be more. What an intricate piece of furniture. Black, white, black, white, black, white, 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 black, black, white, white, black, black, white, black. Ah, we're getting somewhere. There we got it. Yes, that's too open. Nice. Now what about over here? I'll pull the tongue. That sounded like some part of the desk moved. Nice, we got it. Dang, that was complicated. Ooh, another key a and key a note. And a note from father. Someone is tampering with my work. I know it. I know it. I hear them as they whisper and snicker. They sneak in when I sleep. 
This place isn't safe. I have locked my work away in the study. I am leaving now. I will put an end to this terrible torment one way or another. David, if you find this, then I am dead. The forces abroad here have got to me. I am sorry you have been drawn into this tragedy. The answers you seek are amongst the papers in the Master's study. Use them. Stay safe. I love you, son. My God. What happened here? What did they do to my father? Is this the key father spoke of? I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Oh my. So maybe we need to figure that out once we find out what it opens. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh! Hi there. You... you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Hey, wait! Running with scissors. Oh no. Where did he go? I don't know. Let's check our quest log. Find the lock that fits the key. And I think this is the door that we need to the lock is uh, too heavy. Too old for this to work. To work on. So we need to use the key. Hmm. It doesn't fit. Okay, but I need to pull the key out. And this one has... It rotates, so... We need to try... And figure out how to... What direction we need to get it to rotate in. Boy, this is complicated. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now I had it. There we go. Yeah, I don't... Maybe like that? Hmm. It doesn't fit. It still doesn't fit. Okay. Open sesame. There we got it. Someone's been searching here. Oh, either good. they didn't have time to clean up or simply did not care. Okay, wow. If father hid the key for me to find, then this means nobody has been able to enter this room since his death. So who destroyed the room then? Let's take a really good look around. We're looking for more photo photo pieces as well as clues here. Myths and legends of the Highlands. From the library I'd wager. Okay. Oh, here we go. Everything but the seal. There we go, more pictures. Just bits and bobs. All right, what else is here? What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. These might be useful if I decide to live here. The handwriting must be Edward's. Pay half what he asks. Forward to lawyers. Charming. And this one. Your money will protect you forever. The hangman will catch up eventually. 
a curse on you and your family. Seems he was as popular as he was pleasant. Okay. Father wouldn't have hidden his papers somewhere as obvious as a desk drawer. Whoever did this would have searched the room after they looked in the desk. Maybe they didn't find what they were looking for. What's that? Oh, some sort of secret compartment. Father's handwriting. The chapel. The family chronicles. I may find answers there. Looks like a note about the cipher in the shelf. One, five, two. Okay. Anything else in there? No, it doesn't look like it. And I can't... Can I do anything there in that other drawer? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. I, yep, wait a minute. What was... Did we read that? I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look inside your heart and allow us to remain. Hmm. Can I? There we go. Have them out by the end of the month. Wow. Nice guy. The signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits this land has seeped into the very stone of the castle walls. And if you do not tread carefully, it will infect your family. Contact the constable. Have this witch locked up so she does not bother us again. Hmm. Local girl goes missing. Why all the fuss? She is nothing but a peasant. Something whimpering and begging to the edge. I disposed of her in the usual fashion. She rests with the others. I wonder what the date is on that. So somebody, he killed a, one of the local girls. But was it his father or his grandfather? Interesting. All right, well, we have something here. This looks interesting. Hmm. Screwed down tight. Someone didn't want it moved. Oh, good gravy. That's a, a, a puzzle. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that worked. Been fiddling with that thing for quite a while now. Oh. There we this go. Castle has its secrets. Nice. All right. Where's the broken piece? There we go. It looks very precise, accurate. A lot of work went into this. But does our piece fit there? Hold no. on. There. There we go. Stop your fighting. 
Wait! The boy! Did you see him? Where did he go? What did I tell you about disturbing me in my sleep? Uh, what happened? What happened, David? Uh, the boy. There was blood, and, and he, he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? Him. them too, can't you? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. Hello. Oh, man. What are we doing here? Oh, come on. There we go. Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather, Edward. But it felt real. More even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I've never been to this castle before. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Okay, wow, that was a lot of stuff that happened. But I think that was also the end of chapter one. So I think that is where we're going to leave it here for the day. In the next episode, we will start off on chapter two and see where it's going to take us. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.